What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I don't know. I did a video because I had too many short videos and I threw them all together. And this is what I did for like little windows into this business over the course of like, I don't know, a couple weeks, a month. So I decided to do it again, except this one will be over the course of a week. So here's what I'm gonna do this week. What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. I'm in an auction this morning. It's 8, 11 a.m. So the auctioneer of this place actually passed away some time ago, I don't know how long ago. Um, and another auctioneer is in here, they're selling off the remainder. It sounds like they've done a few of these auctions, but the remainder of his estate and his business. And I'm here looking for stuff, I mean, just general stuff that I would buy, but also stuff for my auction that I could use. Now this was always a live auction, so I don't know how much of their equipment I can use, but maybe I'll find something good. Man, there's a lot of trash in there, and they are begging for bids. They, they sit there for like, they start everything at like 10, 20, 50 bucks when it's not worth it. And then they're begging for a $2.50 bid. Like they sit on that for like a minute before they throw something else in it. It's, it's crazy to me. And it's a very slow paced auction. I've never been to an auction that was this slow. Um, I bought one thing so far. And it, well, I got a whole bunch of garbage with it because they couldn't sell the first two lots, so they paired it all together, which is normal, but it's just, I'm questioning what, why they have some of this stuff lotted the way they do. Good half, let's go. Okay, and now we're gonna throw these uh, little Sundays. How about that? Apparently, we used to make a lot of that work. Thank you, everyone. Ten dollars. Well, we're gonna sell non-cow right here. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Bid, bid, ten. Bid, ten. Bid, ten. Four and a half. Four and a half dollar. Bid, bid, four and a half. Four and a half. Bid, bid, four and a half. I got twenty dollars here. Twenty-two and a half. Sold. Sold it here. <laughs> <laughs> number 70. Number 70. Thank that you. was the final hammer <laughs> down. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> it's been good. So I just got back to the warehouse. I spent a total of 75 bucks. I didn't really get a whole lot. I spent 40 bucks on this, and I'm really bummed out. There was another one. It was actually two of them that I was bidding on. It sold for like 30 bucks for both of them. And it actually had the auction company's name, their logo, and everything on it rather than just this stamp. And since I own an auction company, I thought it'd be cool to hang up, you know, the former auction company's sign in here. Um, I figured there were more of them, so I'll just wait for the next one. The next one, I bid it up to 80, and I split it with another guy. We each took one, but it didn't have the logo, like, actually printed on it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so I split it with him, so I spent 40 on that one, he spent 40 on his. It is on a nice A-frame sign stand. It's got this one that doesn't have anything printed on it. They are double-sided, but the inside, this one has his name stamped on it too. I don't really think I would use it because we don't do live auctions. Um, so I'll probably still just hang it up. Maybe I'll hang up the sign, like the actual signs and keep the frame and have something made for myself. I don't know. Another reason that annoys me is because I bought this one for $5 later in the auction. And then this one also for 5 bucks. This one is an old sign, but it was never used. There were a whole bunch of them. 
So I picked this one. Um, so I'm gonna hang this, this, and at least one of the auction signs up uh, in here somewhere. They'll probably end up up there somewhere. That was the last live auction company that was in the area. And everybody else is online now, like myself. And he's been doing it for like a hundred years. I think he started in like the sixties or something. So not a hundred years, but a long time. So I feel like it's good history to have that hanging up. I bought this box of hats for, I think 17, 50, maybe 15. There are a couple of Packers ones that'll probably flip. Um, this probably just get donated. Uh, but the reason I bought it right here is auction hat. So I'll probably hang on to that to wear it. And then I thought this one was kind of cool. Green Bay, Wisconsin. So I may keep that one too. I may sell it. I don't know. And there's just some other stuff that's probably just going to get donated. How do I look? I think it's pretty neat. So I got these three boxes for $2.50. This one didn't have any bids, so they paired it with that one. Still didn't have any bids, and I wanted this one. So I don't even know what's all in here. This is probably like an old car phone or something. That'll go to Goodwill. Glassware. I'm just going to donate all of this. Oh, that's Green Bay. I might, might hang on to that. Uh, Packers mug. Maybe I can get a couple bucks selling that. And the rest of this is just going in the donate pile. Here, this is just a CD case. Empty, I'll donate that. Belt buckle for, I'm guessing, a trucking company. And a folio for them as well. I think I'll sell the belt buckle and probably donate this. Now this is the one that I want. This is just earmuffs. Probably I'll donate. Um, but we've got a do-it-yourself prostate exam. That's just an empty bag. A bald man's comb. What is this? Probably donate. Uh, old body part replacement pack. Geezer tweezers. I'm trying to figure out what that says. No more nuisance nose hairs. And then... Get rid of so these novelty things I think will do well in the auction. And lastly, I spent 10 bucks on these three flats of albums. We're just going to run them through the auction. I feel like Bill Cosby will sell people like controversial things. And I don't know what any of this other stuff is. Looks like polka. Maybe people will buy polka. I have no idea. There was one though. Right here, Green Bay's Greatest. So this guy must be local, so I feel like someone will buy that. And it looks like a lot of them are him. So there's 10 bucks for all three of these. Let's see what else we got. Junk, 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 junk. No one wants Christmas albums. That one is empty. Uh, let's see. So these... I'm probably all just going to get lotted together with the undesirable ones. Bottom flat here is... See, some of these are empty. That's empty. That has one in it. That's empty. Mary Poppins. Maybe that would sell on its own. And then some Christmas ones. Frosty the Snowman. Maybe for nostalgia purposes. I think I'll get my 10 bucks back in a little bit more though. This whole stack here is actually all this Green Bay guy, but here's something interesting. That's his home address. I had to look it up because I was pretty certain April Lane is all residential and I looked up the address and it's a house. I'm sure it's no longer his home address. That hasn't been our area code since uh, the 90s, early 90s, but and he looks pretty old back then. I would assume, might even have been longer than that. I would assume I can get something, people like local stuff. I think I can get something for this stack. And then these were all, all the empties. I'm just gonna throw them in the baler. So, I had a big eBay sale, two grand. So here's the story behind this. Remember six, seven years ago when we cleared out Office Depot? Well, we did a few of them. The first one that we did where there was like 200 grand in inventory. This is like 2018 probably. Um, I bought this. A pallet of binders, but it's not actual binders. This one's kind of open. 
It's these little press board things. It's basically like two sheets of cardboard that can bind papers together, like covers, basically. I spent like $1,000 on that palette, and I hated every second of it because it's something that's, you know, nobody wants it. But my obligation is to buy out the entire store. I have to take everything. There were also two other palettes that I didn't want to deal with. One was a palette of tote bags, which I was able to sell basically around break even, so I didn't have that loss. And one was a palette of USB cables, like printer cables, which I was actually able to sell at a decent profit. I thought I was gonna lose money on all three of these pallets. So these we listed on eBay a couple of years ago and it must be around tax time or something, but once a year we get a nice little spurt where we'll sell four or five cases for 50 bucks each. I thought about selling the pallet just to get it out of here, but realistically, best case, I'm getting like a hundred bucks. Um, it's just, nobody, nobody wants this. So I'm gonna take a huge loss, and it's not even just about the loss, because once you already own something, it doesn't really matter if you're making or losing money, it's about selling it the most efficient way possible. But why sell that for maybe a hundred bucks, when once a year I'm getting about 150 or 200 bucks in sales on it? It's funny because me and Tim will talk about it or mention it, hey, we haven't had a sale on these in a while, and then suddenly we'll get a bunch of sales on them. So anyways, I've been hanging on to it. It's been listed on eBay for at least four years now. Um, well, someone just reached out to me and said uh, they're interested in buying all of them. They didn't know how many I had. I think I only had a quantity of 11 left on eBay. So I went up there, got a piece count. There are 70 cases. And I said, well, it would be 3,500 bucks is our price if we, and I get a shipping information. It'd be 3,500 bucks if you bought them all at our price. I would be willing to do 2200 for you, which is like a 40% discount. And then shipping would be, it was like 320 bucks or something like that. And he said, best you can do is 200 shipped. And I'm pumped because in my head, and I discussed it with Tim, if someone offers me 500 bucks for that pallet, it's gone, I'm taking it. Because I'd probably take three or four years to make 500 bucks on it with selling the individual ones. So two grand, eBay fees are like 240 bucks, something like that. Shipping is going to be about 300. I kind of guesstimated the weight. I hope I didn't burn myself there. I'm probably walking away with a net of about 1500. Remember, I paid like a thousand bucks for it. 1500 is a profit, 50% profit. Plus, I've probably sold another 500 bucks worth over the past about four, five years or so. So I'm pumped about that. Now I got to get it down. So remember, on it was the last Atlanta video at the time that I'm filming. Um, but I'm going down there in a couple of days, so it's probably not gonna be the last one for you. Remember I bought a bunch of like, well, let me show you. Bought this thing and a pallet that had four of these. So these two are empty and they were marked as empty. The other two were these. Look at this. The case turns into a podium. It gets wrapped in this carpet. And then we get this nice big 10 foot display and it folds up and fits inside of here transport it and i've got another one this one's just the frame it's missing the um actual backdrop portion but that one goes in this case and then there are a bunch of lights for it so i think i'm going to keep this uh because i think i have a use for this and i'll sell this one i mean this has to be at least a thousand bucks new so i don't remember what i paid for it but so i got that and then i've got the two empty cases I have yet to really open this and figure out what it was. I opened it and glanced at it. it looks like for stage lighting, like the frames. And it's all written on here too. So beams and stuff. I'll figure that out. But this thing has got to be really expensive. I don't know if the lights work. I haven't tried them. I don't have an outlet over here. Actually, I wonder if that outlet works. If you have an extension cord, because they hang down right back here. Would you look at that? Not only do the lights work, but this outlet that I didn't know I had, that also works. Usually that's all buried. Um, some things that I don't like, these, you can see they don't stick very well. They're just thin magnets that stick to this and they don't do a very good job. So what I think I might do is at least on the bottom, get some adhesive Velcro to stick between the two. I think that would be the best option. There are little slats you can see right here, little slats. So maybe I could also 
just stick like a needle or a safety pin or something through one. I'm not sure. This looks really nice. I like this. It's all dirty because the floor is dirty. So I'll probably bring these pieces home and vacuum them before they ever get used. Um, I'm excited about that and it all fits right in there so it doesn't take up a lot of space. I figure if I ever have to do a trade show or something, that would be really nice to have. And it's all Velcro. It's like a carpet material that'll work with Velcro. So I can just make whatever signage I want and Velcro it right on here. I kind of like this frame better. It seems a little bit more stable, uh, a little beefier and nicer, but those are just a little bit too big. They don't fit on here. It's like a quarter of an inch too big and they hang on those little tabs up there. So I don't think, maybe I could cut those a little bit to put it on here. I don't want to do that because it might risk messing with the structural integrity of those and then they might break at some point. So that's what I'm doing today. Next, I'm gonna crack this one open and see if I've got any use for it. But first, I'm gonna take some pictures of this and get it on Marketplace. I need a better back background than that though. So I got this thing half put together before I finally found the instructions. It was buried in this box and pretty ripped up, so I made a photocopy, but now I'm gonna take this down so I can get it listed. So I'm at the new house. If you don't know what that means, well, you should be watching the other channel. Anyways, Christiana asked me to pick something up for her. She's out of town that she saw in Marketplace. So I went and picked it up. I've got the truck. Well, as I'm picking it up with the truck, I see a whole bunch of furniture on the side of the road. I figured that's gotta be like a hundred bucks. I can't say no to that. So this is kind of a crappy table, but it looks so nice because it's in this setting. I even staged it with a couple of things. I had this little dish on it and I had this lamp. I staged it like this, except the lamp cord wasn't hanging off the side like that. I'm gonna list this on Marketplace for 25 bucks. It was right over here when I found it, you know, less than a mile away. I'm only bringing in the lightweight, easy stuff. The bigger, heavier things, well, Really, it's just the kitchen table is bigger and heavier. I'm not hauling that in here to take pictures. I'm just going to take the picture in the warehouse. But I feel like taking pictures in a house, it looks better. I've actually thought about building out a little corner in the warehouse with like a finished floor and drywall, finished drywall on the wall. So I could take pictures of furniture and stuff that I get in storage units. And it looks like it's in a house, not in an old grungy warehouse. I might still do that. I don't know. I stopped thinking about that a while ago. What do you think about this? Kind of a fake leather alligator skin table. This is peeling a little bit, but it could be re-glued. I don't have any glue. I'm gonna leave that up to the customer. I'm gonna call this another 25 bucks. You know, let's call this 30 bucks. I even staged it all nice with, it's in the same spot, but I didn't want it to look like it was in the same spot. So I put a box of Kleenex on it and a different little canister. You know, I was thinking this would be a terrible spot to put this because the stairs are here. It's actually a pretty good sized table. You can still walk down here pretty easily. Can you tell I haven't <laughs> finished the corner around yet or the transition piece here? And now we've got this little kitchen cabinet, mid-century modern. Um, I'm gonna price this at 50 bucks. I think I can get that. So those three items, if I get my asking price, it's 105 bucks. Plus I've got the kitchen table, which kitchen tables don't go for a lot. It's a nice drop leaf table, probably ask like 40 bucks for it. I normally don't do marketplace, but I can't pass up free money on the side of the road. If I get my asking price on everything, that'd be 145 bucks, just free for the taking. If you're looking to start your business, that's how you get started. That's kind of how I got started, free stuff and just Flip it on, at the time, Craigslist. Now you have Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp and all these other apps. And I got this little nice drop leaf table. I thought that was a crack at first, but it's actually split in half to put a leaf in, which unless it's under there, yeah, there's no leaf, but I think I can get 40 bucks for this. It's you know, a little worn, but I think it's in pretty decent shape for a $40 kitchen table. Oh, also in that cabinet were these two bags, which are each one, there's three of these little padlocks. 
So we get six cheap padlocks here, but they're brand new. I don't know if this was supposed to be in the drawer or if they just forgot about it. I'm just gonna put them in the auction and probably get eight to 10 bucks for them. Here's another one. Oh, that's all broken. Eh, I'm gonna pass on this stuff. I was ready to take that slide because I can usually get like 15 bucks for those in the auction, but not if it's broken. I'm gonna keep stopping if I see things on the way to the warehouse to drop this stuff off because it's free money on the side of the road. This is actually like legitimately how I got my start. I would go around, you know, on trash day and look for stuff and sell it on Craigslist. Honestly, if you're an environmentalist, this would be a great thing to do just to keep stuff out of the landfill. Like those bikes, I'm not really gonna get much selling them. Maybe two or three bucks in the auction each. I'm not gonna haul them back for that. But if you just take them and give them away or something, it keeps them out of the landfill. So you could do that too. Turkeys! Yeah, you know, it's not a resale rabbit video without birds, and those are nature's majestic turkeys, the best bird there is. I want pet turkeys. Oh, I also, I found a grill. I had a hard time getting that back there. That thing was heavy. I might use the forklift to help me get it out. We'll see. So this thing was incredibly heavy, but it's in really nice shape. It looks like it must have been stored inside. Um, a little bit of rust in here, but not that big of a deal. It's a dual function. So you got charcoal on this side and gas on this side. I want to list this for a hundred bucks. I looked it up. This same grill is for sale. So it's not like an old model or anything. And it's 300 bucks right now in the store. So I think a hundred bucks is a pretty good price. Um, but yeah, this was so heavy trying to get it in the truck. I'm sure the people were looking out the window just watching and laughing as I was trying this. I think I was gonna let lifting something heavy get between me and an extra hundred bucks. It's just on the side of the road, free money. I'm taking it. Now, I already know what the comments are gonna be. I'm sure I'm, there's gonna be a few. Rabbit, I don't get you. You spend fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on truckloads full of product. You have warehouse sales where you do fifty to eighty thousand dollars in sales in eight days. You fly across the country regularly to buy product. Why are you scavenging for trash? And I can answer that. I know this is going to be asked because, like every time I do something, like go to a thrift store or something, people will comment that. I can answer that question because it's free money. I will never be rich enough to turn around turn away $245. I don't think I'll ever be rich enough to not double take when I see abandoned furniture on the side of the road. There was actually a lot of it. They must be doing bulk pickup this week or something. Most of it looked like trash, but these two houses were good. Um, and actually this house, it wasn't the grill that made me stop and look, there was a nice wicker chair, like an outdoor wicker chair, but it was all destroyed on the other side. So if this stuff sells, See, it's Wednesday, so in the next two days, because I'm gonna try and do a one week video for this, uh, I'll let you know. So I'm trying to get rid of that stuff, that hookah stuff, so I'm going through a list of hookah distributors and just emailing all of them. I reached out to the company that sold it to us. I paid, I think it was like 4,300, something like that. I told them 2,500 and I will pay to ship it back to him if he buys it back, but they weren't interested. At this point, I'm willing to take a loss on it, but I'm, offering it to these companies for 8,000, which is less than a dollar per unit. Um, but saying we're open to offers, so we'll see. I also emailed the company that manufactured that vacuum lift. I don't know if you remember that. And I sent them uh, the details on it and asked if they would be interested in buying it back. And it's kind of funny. They suggested I sell it on eBay or Craigslist. So that's a bit of a bummer. I'm also looking at doing more freight stuff on eBay. I'm looking at some big stuff because I feel like a lot of people, they're not willing to do it or they're not able to do it. You know, 
I would guess at least 75% of eBay sellers are selling from their house, so they can't do freight. So that gives me a bit of an advantage. Selling that, those um, binders for two grand, that really lit a fire under me to start doing higher dollar freight eBay sales. I wonder if eBay is having some sort of glitch. Um, so I got an email from somebody through eBay or a message through eBay. They're saying, why does it say this item was shipped? I didn't buy it. I rejected your offer. But it says they paid. So we shipped it out. But then I just looked and I got a neutral feedback from someone else. It says, didn't buy this. And that was another one that was sold, paid for, and we shipped out the other day. Is eBay just giving me money from people? <laughs> And saying they bought stuff. I don't understand what's happening. Hey, 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 it's Friday. Sold that kitchen table, 50 bucks. And then someone's coming for that mid-century modern cabinet. I listed it for 50. They offered 40. So I said, come get it. So they're on their way here. So I'm assuming it's probably going to sell. Uh, so that'll be 90 bucks that I found on the side of the road. I'll never be too rich to reject $90 just laying on the side of the road. I love having people pick up at the warehouse. For starters, because we're always here. I don't need to meet anybody. If they don't show, they don't show. It's not a big deal. I also like it because, because people don't need to know where I live. I don't like people immediately showing up at my house. They see all my cool stuff. That's my garbage. Can't steal my garbage. Um, but the drawback is a lot of people you can tell they're nervous. Some people will already say, I'm not going to a warehouse. Um, it helps now that we have signage up, that it's a business, Title Town Auctions or Wisconsin Liquidation, whatever signs we have up at the time. I keep stepping on something clear and now I can't find it. Um, so anyways, that helps a little bit, but people, you can always tell they're nervous, especially, you know, I don't want to haul stuff outside, it's cold out. So I say, come on in. Come by the delivery door. I wish there was a way around that. I feel like you're more likely to get murdered going to someone's house than a business. But people are nervous. So I've actually lost sales because of that, because someone, they looked it up on Google Maps and saw it was a warehouse and said, no, I'm not going there. And 40 bucks for the cabinet. So that's 90 bucks I found on the side of the road. I still have the two nightstands and the grill. So that was this week. This was that week. I don't know. Did you guys enjoy this format? People seem to enjoy it in the last one. Uh, last time I did this, except the last one wasn't planned. This one really wasn't planned in the beginning either. I still need to film an intro to this, which I'm gonna do next, the intro that you saw. Um, I don't know how videos are gonna be in the next couple of weeks because I've got a lot of traveling ahead of me. I'm trying to get stuff done ahead of time. We'll see if that happens. But if you don't see me for a couple of weeks or maybe a week, that's why. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm really close to 200,000 subscribers.